Hey y'all, it's Ken. Today, we are going to the Neo Night Otaku Festival located at the Plaza America, which is a mall in Bel Air, Houston, Texas. I've actually never been to this mall before, so y'all are gonna see my first experiences and my first reactions in the video ahead. I was really excited to try the food at the Otaku Festival, and it took us a while to find it, but it was really good and it was definitely worth it. I hope you guys enjoy coming along, and remember, if you like these kind of videos, be sure to subscribe because I plan on posting weekly about events and food places in Houston and in my area. All right, let's get to the video. First of all, I don't know why I'm staring at the camera like this, but... So, uh, before we go to the festival, we're stopping by the bakery to get some food for the morning. <laughs> I'll show you guys what's inside there. This is the bakery we're going into, right over there. I actually haven't been to this bakery in a while. It's a relatively big space, and they actually have really good pastry here. This pizza bread right here is actually pretty good. I've had it before. This place has really good bread, really fresh. They make every day. If you're ever in the Bel Air area, you should check it out. It's called Camilla Bakery. Let me zoom in here for you. The dessert at this bakery is also really good. These pudding cup things are a must have. Bamboo charcoal taro soft bread. So many things in one little label. And the cake looks so good. So, oh man, fresh cake. I really wish I could have some, but I caught this guy staring at literally nothing for a while. I thought it was funny to film. And now it was finally time to leave and go to the main attraction. Okay, so we just made it to the spot. We're gonna go inside. It's pretty empty out here though. Well, hopefully we're in the right spot. <laughs> Plaza Americas. I've actually never been here before. I bravely approached the double doors with my six shooter by my side as I try to look for the Otaku Festival. This place looks surprisingly empty and I was actually starting to worry if this was the right place or not. But then I saw the sign and I thought food must be nearby. We decided to follow the sign, so we marched down to the basement. Luckily, we ended up in the right place. We saw lots of art and anime stuff all over. My mom mentioned something funny. She said, probably all these things are illegal. There's no way they got licenses from the companies to make these things. And I didn't want to break it to her, but that's usually how these otaku festivals are in Houston. Okay, so nothing really to do. It's just buying a bunch of anime stuff. And we were here for food, so there's no food down here. So we're, we're leaving. We're going to keep looking, but we went downstairs and there was a bunch of shops and stuff. But I mean, right now there's nothing. We're hungry. We want food. Okay, that's what it is. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Okay, we found the food, it's outdoor. In case you couldn't hear me correctly, I said the food is outdoors. I was clearly too hungry and I couldn't say my words correctly. But yeah, the food looked great. There was about 10 vendors outside, all together. Dog. Sweet Honey Dessert actually has a location near Kitty Asia Town. I thought it was fairly busy and definitely more people than I expected. They were cooking the food right in front of us, so it made me really hungry. Now, I don't know what potato twisters are, but there you go. And this guy had funnel cake and I was jealous. Yeah, I'm hungry. We're gonna go try one of these things. Show you right here. The one of these things I'm referring to are these skewers that looked really good to us. They had the options of chicken, beef, sausage, and some deep fried stuff there. They all looked really good and clearly marinated, so I knew probably chicken and beef would be the best options. I guess I just got my dinner. <laughs> Two little sticks, I'll show you. Right here, it's uh, beef and chicken. I'm gonna try the beef now. Whoa, whoa. 
Mm. Yeah. Well, the beef is really flavorful. It's really juicy. I really like it. It's it's really good. And now I'm gonna try chicken. Mm. It's smoky, charred. It's it's good. I, I like that it was cooked over a fire. It makes it really good, like fiery taste. I don't know how to explain it. Smoky, I guess. Really good. Both of them are really good. Definitely, if you're in the area, Juan's Thai Kitchen is good, especially those uh, skewers. Okay, so I finished eating, and uh, yeah, it was really good. I was definitely pleasantly surprised. I, I definitely could have eaten more, but maybe I'll get some more later, so stay tuned for that, right? <laughs> My mom wanted to show off her food, so here you guys go. Okay, so we finished eating. Uh, we're probably going to go get some more stuff to eat. We're going to walk around and see. At least I will. I don't know. So I'll bring you guys along. The mall was still empty over here on this side, but look what I found. Gotcha. We found a cool little cake shop. This place was actually surprisingly big. You easily could get lost up here on the first or second floors. I also saw Batman. A couple of people were staring at me with the camera, so I decided to turn it off here. Okay, so we're leaving the mall. We're gonna go to get something else to eat because there's nothing interesting for us here. So I'll show you guys where we end up going. <laughs> Here's the travel montage. Okay, so we actually decided to eat pepper lunch for dinner. None of us are full from the little viewers. So we're gonna go get some more food. Corn dogs again. You know, one thing I love about Japanese restaurants are these plastic models of what the food is supposed to look like. So useful because sometimes I can't know what I'm getting just from reading the description. Pepper Lunch has these huge menus above the ordering station that you can look at, as well as a little flip book that you can go through to see the menu better. I thought the restaurant was nicely decorated. I like the paint right here, the art. Okay, so we are at Pepper Lunch. I don't know if I brought it up already. What I ordered is the traditional beef pepper rice. A classic, should be good. But I haven't had it yet, so I'll let you know. There's these little things on the table that show you how to cook your pepper plate. Make sure you mix the garlic sauce like I'm doing here. Just kind of rotate the thing that's inside of there. That way it'll mix it up really good. When your meal comes to your table, it's a little bit raw, so you gotta cook it like I'm doing here. Mix it up, make sure everything's touching the hot plate. Then you just have to wait patiently for your meat to cook thoroughly. Make sure you add a little bit of garlic sauce to give it that kick that you need. Well, we're all Pepper Lunch is really good. It's a franchise from Japan. Uh, we used to eat it there when I was younger. But now that's in the States, it's a really fun place that we like to hang out at. I like how fresh the food is. And the huge menu that they have lets you get many different things for each time that you come here. I also appreciated how clean the restaurant was. Very good place to eat. Hi, <laughs> oishikata, we're literally just walking down the strip to go get some matcha ice cream again. Yet again, getting matcha ice cream because it's the best ice cream. Don't at me. I'm sorry. Also, there's a bearded papa here. That's pretty cool. Hey, matcha time! We went to go search for matcha ice cream at this little place that we know called Ninja Matcha. I called it Ninja Cafe, but that's not the real name. The matcha, so good. It's really good. This cafe is called Ninja Cafe. There's a really good lunch up here. Okay, we just finished eating the matcha and it was really good. <laughs> I'm really happy. Again, best ice cream. Can't argue with me because you'll lose. And now we're gonna go home and that's basically the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe because I'm gonna be doing this every week or as much as I can. I'll be posting regularly and I hope you enjoy coming along with me. I'll see you in the next one.